want to hurt a family, he goes to man. Anytime God go, want to bless a family, he goes to man. Please, let me give you a gift that will change your life. Let, look up, let me change it. Let me give you a gift. You see your family. You see that your family? I mean, natural family. There are agents of darkness in that family this night. Not willingly. Because the earth is not yet perfect. Ancient spirit must find dwelling in a man to be part of a family. Ancient spirits must find a dwelling in a woman. So any devil that have ever attacked a family pass through a human gate. And any spirit that ever bless a family pass through a human gate. So we don't bind the devil direct. We bind him a human being. May God bless your ear if you hear me. I said we don't bind the devil without a human being. Looking for the devil without a human being means you don't know where he can be found. Just like looking, looking for God without a human being. There is a difference between what somebody is saying and who he is. So beyond the word of people, find out who they are. If you are looking at me. You have a brother that is always contrary to you. It's an agent of darkness. You can't bind the devil without binding him. You have a sister that is always contrary to you. And you're looking for the devil outside him. Romans chapter 5. He said that there's the devil in the sea. The devil in the sea will have nothing to do with you if you didn't find a human agent. And somebody said we have ancient spirit. Ancient spirit. Ancient spirit is not human being that is structured. If, a, if you're sleeping and something press you, that thing that press you, press you from somebody around. Not from the water. The water body cannot be house of spirits. It's man. So it is men that are killing others. And we call it angel of death. If you have a son and he's a western, it's not yet an angel of death. Huh? Do you know what for you? What do you know what it means for you to have a son you don't want to see? Now this boy or this girl is always bringing you pain, and he's around. It's not. It's not only bringing you pain; it's reducing your life. When Satan want to kill people. He keep agents around. The Bible said death reigned. He reigned from man. Romans 5. The book of Romans chapter 5. Verse number 14. He said never let death reign from Adam to Moses. Whether it is Adam or Moses, death was in them. But the Bible says he couldn't reign from Jesus. That means Jesus couldn't provide a body for death. He couldn't make himself available. Let me tell you what happened in families. Any family you enter, you enter into. That family must divide into two. I said the family. Any family you enter into, that family must divide into two. It's a must. There are 
there are children of, of light from one womb and there are children of darkness from one womb. There are agents of God from one womb and there are agents of darkness from the same womb. And the, that is why division cannot stop. Because something that will develop a family, some people will willingly fight it. When you ask them to explain why they are doing what they are doing, they will not have reason. Because they are agents of darkness. They just hate family progress. So you don't keep praying for God to bless you. Why you're praying for God to bless you? You should pray for God to subdue those that the devil is using to attack your life. Don't even start looking for them outside. Start looking for them inside your family house. Don't pray against your sisters. Pray against the spirit using them. They root demons. You see, they are not being used willingly. They are used against themselves. But whether willingly or not, they are already agents of ancient spirits. So next week I will be in Galilee. I don't think I will go there and be praying for demons. I will ask God to use Koboko to go to people's house, those agents, and, and flog them to death. They say they want to run away from that village. And there will be no mercy for them. Total mayhem from continuous fire. I said what? Total mayhem. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse number 26. Go ahead. First Corinthians. The last enemy that should be destroyed is death. Now, anybody who harbors death is an enemy. Anybody who harbors evil. Some of us, listen, can you look up? Why the lion should come? It is because you're still calling an agent of the devil your sister. This is a house of darkness. You're still calling that devil your brother. Many years ago, I, I was in my house, in my office. I mean, in, in my in my in my house, and two people came into my came into my two converts, a, a woman and her daughter, came into my house in the realm of the spirit. And then suddenly, in that realm of the spirit, it's, it's a demon pressed me. I said to God, I said, when, when did demon, when, where have I, when did I reduce myself to demon pressing me? The Lord said, I should look. I saw the woman and her daughter that came into my room, into my room there to see me. He said, you cannot close the door of your, if you, you can't close your door of your room. It, you close it against spirit. But these people gave the spirit access to your room. So the, the demon that pressed you came from the woman. And the face of the woman I saw, physical. And how will I forget it? And this somebody in the church speaking in tongue. And uh, can I tell you a secret? Uh huh? If a devil didn't manifest through a character, then it's not there. So when we are talking about devil, we are not, you don't need to be a prophet. There is a character you see somebody behaving. You will know that that person is a house of the devil. House of death. The Bible said death reigned. It reigned from people. Oh, oh. Oh, 
My king died. Was it not people that killed him? Is there any human being that died on earth that was not killed? Somebody said, eh, hey, the man is having high blood pressure. It's not people that worried him until he had high blood pressure. Ah, let me get it now. Ah, let me get high blood pressure. What will I be doing with it? I don't need it. I would never have it. Pressure in my life two times, then you're out. I prefer my life to whatever I can get. Because man is an asset gate. The biggest thing I have is my life. And it must not be touched. I should be healthy even if I don't have money. I only have out of poverty. So what am I doing with money? It's not to solve local some problems. I help them move the church forward. Then that is helping. That is helping. That is helping a church. And I must not lose my life. There is no human being that entered into my life and caused pain to me that didn't go. Because I am a master in immortality. I know that something evil can be introduced into a man through constant pressure. One of the days I traveled, Mama told me, eh, this is the daughter, this is a, this, this boy, he is the son of your sister. Carry him. I said, who? Did you say, did, you, did I hear you say what? Carry somebody that was born by a man. When, this, when the man was getting the mother of this boy pregnant, he didn't make plan. So something, somebody, another person gave birth to, shall become a pain to me, a eunuch like me. So then I woke up in the morning, I've been thinking about when the boy went to school or not. How did he confront to an oath I took against? I know how to help people. I don't help people in, a, in an idiotic way. If the family, if this family, a family doesn't have honor, then the family doesn't have value. Doesn't have men of value. If there must be life, a man must be a gate to life. If there must be death, a man should be a gate to death. Whatever that didn't go through man cannot be part of the earth. Write down your paper. Whatever that didn't go through man. I want to show you a, a scripture there. In, in chapter 5, you will see like it. V verse. Verse number 5. 17, 5, 17 is a scripture that people will like. Go ahead. Go ahead, Pastor, Pastor Imota. 5, 17, Romans. Thank you. For if by one man's offense, death reigned by one. E excuse me, the Bible didn't say if by one spirit. The Bible didn't say if it is, if it is by one angel, by one Satan. He said, it is by one man's death. Much more shall the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness reign in life by by one. So whether it is death is a man. Whether it is life is a man. So is there a big man? Listen. The greatest evil Satan do on earth is to destroy values of men so that they can when somebody's value is destroyed he becomes an agent of the devil
Can I tell you something? Is it possible for a woman to be poor? Is it possible for a woman to be poor? Huh? Huh? Without her value first being destroyed. Somebody's value should be destroyed before poverty can reign. Somebody's understanding should be mangled so that he will not pass jump. It's an art of witchcraft. Somebody's intelligence should be destroyed so that he will not know how to equate income with expenses. So when you go to certain villages, you see valueless people that their values are mangled by the devil so that they can be agents of darkness. Somebody didn't buy rice. You bought rice and gave her. She went to where they are sharing rice and started quarreling. And I started exchanging words. Started exchanging words. What does your mother not die? What does your mother die? No, don't give her rice. Let me say to you, I stand on the altar of God to say to you, you will never represent something that is evil. I can't hear an amen. amen. You will never represent the interest of darkness. Amen. Now, wherever a human being represents death around you, we are not causing human being. The spirit in that man must be destroyed. Is, is it because... I, I grew up in a village. I grew up in what the goddess and the god of that village is busy doing is removing virtues from people. So that they will behave idiotically. So that they will represent darkness. And sometimes some of them can't help themselves. Because man is the most important asset. Now, stop, stop in this way. There is nothing to pay attention on it. On, like yourself. Pay attention to yourself. Give everything you have to personal transformation. To what? You have to give everything. Let me repeat what I just said. There cannot be pain until there is devaluation. And devaluation gives certain chance to hurt people. I said, please, please now listen. Local army began from one room. So it was not even about being rich. But there is something I didn't like in one room. I didn't like the value that brought this ministry to this place. And if you see the way I preach truth, it doesn't allow me to beg. I, but I, I can't live without sacrifice. I already know that man is the most valuable asset. So I, this meeting will soon end now. And I will rest a little while and come back to sit down for about nine hours or ten. Like yesterday, I sat down there more than more than 10 hours because I came before 8 and I left here after 6 so I sat down there for more than 10 hours and what was I doing? Quarrying value trying to trying to say Lord let me be transformed so I keep looking being alive makes me to know there is something God is hiding in the book I'm writing I have only two left I have only two left on the importance of doctrine and the Holy Ghost is the spirit of God's word. So in another two days, I'm, I'll be done with writing. By Friday, I'm no longer writing anything. 
Have I blessed you? Huh? Before you ask God to give you a car, ask him to improve your value. And tell Satan that he will never think of using you. Because life and death goes through men. I say life. Now what I have done for you is to open your eyes. When you stand up where you are by four. And you met somebody outside. You will not, you, excuse me. You will not be able, you will not, it will not be difficult for you to know who embodied God and who embodied devil. When you come to prayer in tomorrow, it will not be difficult for you to know who and who is there. Because Satan, we never function on earth without a body. So is God. So all immortals should stand up to resist agents of the devil. Listen, when we're talking about agents of the devil, we're not making it spiritual. We're not talking about mommy water. We're talking about people that have strange characters. George, why are you being quiet? Huh? Because the truth is hard. Meeting. It didn't just close outside. And somebody look at you and say, good morning. You just do, mm -hmm, and be going. As you though your ear is deaf. And church just closed. You are not from God. You are from something else. And don't forget I'm shepherd. the truth is helping you, it's getting difficult for you to understand. Have I not said it? Huh? And is it not the truth? We are doing big, we are doing big binding when things are hanging around us. The spirit of discipline is part of the Holy Ghost. Tolerance. Character. For somebody who is struggling to keep instruction, I fear for that future. see how wonderful it is to speak up for God? God will never achieve anything on earth tangible until worthy men are raised. Satan will not be able to do havoc until three wicked people are raised who are twos. And I'm going to stop this meeting now to give communion in five minutes of another sharing on the wages of sin. Death is the wages of sin. I'm taking it five minutes. When you talk about wages, you're talking about pay. Wages is pay. Pay. P A Y. Reward. So when somebody dies, the person was rewarded. The person was paid. That's a simple word saying it. I said the person was. The person was paid.
So God pays sinners with debt. The reward of devotional sinful art is debt. Hide it in your mind. Meanwhile, it is not every sin that leads to death. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Please, I'm going to hurry up to be true. And I want to thank you for listening. Please, cause, you know what I have done now? This is my fourth sharing. Is to open all the gates of death and release fire against them. That's what I'm doing. I'm opening all the doors of gate of death and in Zoe week and I'm releasing fire on them. I'm releasing fire on them. Oh, he said the wages of sin is the death. That means anybody that died anywhere was rewarded. Some people willingly enjoy sin. Some people don't even know what sin is. Their conscience is not sharp enough to articulate disobedience. I said their conscience is not sharp enough to articulate moribund disobedience. 